Hey, it's Mike. Thanks for tuning back in. You're probably going to hear my cat. He's down here. It's almost feeding time. He's hungry. He's meowing. So you might hear him. Uh, I haven't posted since Monday, which is crazy for me. Uh, by the way, do you like the green Celtic shirt under the orange? Looks awesome, right? Uh, so Tuesday night, I did my live stream on Whatnot. It went awesome. I had a lot of fun. I think people enjoyed it. People got some good deals. I sold 33 cards. So I'm going to do it again. All slabs, SGC and CSG, and a couple of PSA probably on Sunday night at 7.30 Eastern time. You can hear my cat scratching at the wall. Uh, so things like uh, 1952, uh, Duke Snyder, there's a Bo Jackson rookie, there's my cat. You got a, some 1950 Bowman. You've got a Lou Gehrig, 50 Callahan, 51 Callahan, Michael Jordan. Got a lot of stuff here that I'm going to sell. I'm going to start the bidding at $1. I welcome you to, to join, have fun, ask questions. Uh, I think I figured out how to turn my camera on so you can actually see my face. Bid on some cards, starting at a buck. Can't, can't lose. I mean, you got... Uh, you got some modern in here, Pedroia rookie. You've got a Tyler Stevenson rookie autograph. Bo Jackson rookie. There's a lot of good stuff in here. I think you'll enjoy the Derek Jeter rookie. Come on over, enjoy. I'll put the link out there uh, probably tomorrow or Saturday on whatnot. You can still get $15 for signing up through my link. I'll put that in the description. Today though, I wanted to talk about some cards that PSA and SGC no longer grade from 1928. It's the George H. Ruth Candy Company. Uh, it's a pretty interesting story. Um, the, the George Ruth Candy Company, of course, Babe Ruth is George Herman Ruth, was started in 1926 as a direct opposition to Curtis Candy Company, who had created the Baby Ruth Bar. And Baby Ruth bars were clearly named after Babe Ruth to capitalize on his stardom, and they uh, refused to give Babe Ruth any of the money from them. They claimed that it was named after Ruth Cleveland, the daughter of President Cleveland. Ruth Cleveland had passed away 17 years before Baby Ruth candy bars came out, so not really believable, but Babe Ruth came out with the, the Babe Ruth candy bar. These cards came with Ruth's Home Run Candy Bars. You can see a wrapper here. These wrappers, by the way, are very pricey, but very easily counterfeited. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so these cards came in those. There are only six cards in the set. Um, five of the cards were vertical. There was one horizontal card where Ruth was sitting down, had a little boy with him. Each card had a small caption at the bottom, for instance. His candy helped him. Ooh, some great copy there, guys. Uh, card two is the only one where he's in action on the field. The, the rappers, there was a small collection of them believed to have been found in an attic find in the 1980s. And uh, now they're heavily counterfeited. And the way you can tell is in the George H. Ruth, the H in it is scratched out, almost like it's cut off. And those ones are counterfeited. And that's the easiest way. There are a number of ways, but that's the easiest way to tell and the most common way, I guess. I was reading about that on Net54, by the way. Net54 has so many experts out there that know all this stuff, great stuff. And if you had all six of the cards in the set, you could mail them in for a Babe Ruth autographed ball. It's pretty cool. It's buy six candy bars and boom, you've got a Babe Ruth autographed baseball. I wonder how many of the autographed baseballs that are out there now came from these cards being uh, sent back, being redeemed for this premium. I think it's pretty awesome. It's, it's interesting to consider. Now, the populations are low on this. Uh, PSA population, there are 42 cards from this set that have been graded by PSA. Six of them have been graded a seven, none higher. PSA is not reporting any in their auction price prices realized section. I'm not sure why, maybe, I don't know. I mean, there are a bunch that have been sold recently at public auction. I found quite a few. A PSA 7, for instance, of number two 
sold for $1,400 through Golden not too long ago. This set, by the way, was unidentified by Jefferson Burdick. I thought it was interesting. I couldn't figure out why. If you know why, let me know in comments. In 2023, so this year, a full set graded by PSA was sold by Memory Lane Auction, sold at a Memory Lane Auction for $15,000. So that's all six of them. The, the GPA on this was 5.33. Uh, so while these are very rare and desirable, they aren't terribly expensive. You're talking about two to $3,000 per century-old Babe Ruth card, which is really cool. These were all blank back, by the way. Some of them are blank back. Some of them have the redemption on the back of them. SGC population, there are over 100 in their population, so more than double what are in the PSA population. There's one 7.5 and one 7, none higher. Uh, and they apparently don't grade them either. I read a very old Net54 forum or, uh, thread about SGC nor PSA will grade them. But uh, it's also, it wasn't listed on SGC's list of cards that they don't grade, which I don't think exists anymore. I couldn't find it. And I've seen that list before. I don't know. It's weird. But I don't think SGC grades them anymore, nor does PSA, because there were so many that were, that were counterfeited over 50 years ago. This is one of the earliest known counterfeited sets. Don't comment, oh, T206 has been counterfeited longer. I, I said one of, one of. Uh, and, but the population is also possibly low because of that redemption where kids were collecting all six and then sending them all off to get the autographed Babe Ruth ball, potentially. I noticed in card number one, Babe Ruth is wearing an LA uniform and I thought, that's weird. Why would he be wearing an LA uniform? So I did a little research and his movie, Babe, Come, Babe Comes Home, was released in 1927, right before these cards came out, and he wore an LA uniform from the Pacific Coast League in that. And that's so these photos come from that. Now, the Babe Comes Home description is great. A bubbly romance between baseball star and a laundress goes down the drain when, slugger, when the slugger's love of chewing tobacco makes a mess of their relationship. It sounds like a 1990s sitcom. And you gotta wonder too, did, did the George Ruth Candy Company destroy the cars that were redeemed? They, did they, I, I don't know, what did they do with those? I, since the population's so low, they must be. In 1931, a federal court ruled that Babe Ruth could not trademark Ruth's home run, home run bar because of confusion with Baby Ruth. So, uh, sorry, somebody else stole your name and you can't capitalize on it and you can't name another bar after yourself. Terrible, terrible. You can find a PSA 7, the only PSA 7, the highest graded card on eBay for $25,500 right now. A raw card sold recently, here we go with raw card, raw card sold recently for $500. One bid from somebody who has zero feedback. So you tell me, was that a legitimate sale? Was it a counterfeit? Was it real? Or I don't know, a little suspicious. A stained SGC1 recently sold for $1,500. So there are a lot of these out there. There are a lot of counterfeits and you need to be very careful. Uh, I would avoid these at all costs unless they're in the PSA slabs, in which case they're too expensive for me. So let me know. Do you have any of these? Have you seen them? Would you buy any in those slabs or do you think that PSA and SGC stopped grading them because they realized that there were too many fakes and they didn't know how to tell and that puts the ones that are already slabbed at risk? I don't know, but I'm curious for your opinion. Let me know. Tomorrow I've got a, another Attic Find Friday I'm excited about and then this weekend, normal schedule and then the Sunday uh, live stream auction over on Whatnot. Hope you're there. Hope you buy some good stuff from me. I'll be happy to sell any of these for a dollar. Just get them out of my collection. I no longer need them. I no longer want them. And uh, I don't want to put the work out there to try to sell them over months and months and months. All right, guys. Have a great night. Thanks very much for watching.